the first lady of the Republic of Kenya, Mama Rachel Ruto. Please give her a round of applause. Thank you. We may be seated. Honorable Felix Koske, Chief of Staff and Head of Public Service. Honorable Moses Kuria, Cabinet Secretary for Public Service, Performance and Delivery Management, who is also representing. Honorable Haisha Jumwa, Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Gender, Culture, the Arts and Heritage. Umi Bashir, Principal Secretary, State Department for Culture. Arts and Heritage in the Ministry of Gender, Culture, the Arts and Heritage, members of the Diplomatic Corps, all government officials and elected leaders present, Mr. Peter Gita, Chief Executive Officer, Bomas of Kenya, all chairpersons and Chief Executive Officers of Parastatals and all organizations, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Hamjambo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Salam alaikum. I'm deeply honored to stand before you today as we gather to celebrate the inaugural Utamaduni Day for our beloved Republic of Kenya. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to the State Department for Culture, Arts and Heritage for extending this gracious invitation. I'm honored to be a part of this significant occasion. Before I continue, allow me to convey warm greetings from the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Ruto. <laughs> Utamaduni Day has been conceived to honor and celebrate the profound richness of our culture, diversity, and heritage. It is a day for us to unite and rejoice in our ethnic diversity, traditions, languages and customs that together create a magnificent tapestry of unity within our diversity. We celebrate the Bomas of Kenya, a befitting venue for this celebration. Bomas is truly the melting pot of our cultures. Over the years, Bomas of Kenya continues to represent and showcase who we are as a people through curated dance and village experiences from different ethnic communities across Kenya. The phrase, utamaduni, tuajivunia utangamano, embodies the essence of our gathering today. It means our culture. We are proud of our harmony. Our culture is not just a state of being. It defines who we are and connects us to the global community. This occasion is a good reminder that our diversity is our strength. This diversity is what makes up the Kenyan culture, and this is why it is important to celebrate and appreciate it. Utamaduni Day represents, Utamaduni Day presents us with an opportunity to bridge the gap between our diverse backgrounds. Each region of Kenya has cultural norms, such as traditional dress, unique food, and a variety of languages to name, but just a few. These contribute to the vibrant mosaic of our beautiful nation, as we have been and shall be sampling later on. 
This day also encourages us to explore, appreciate, and understand each other's cultures, enabling us to foster a sense of unity and shared identity. On a global scale, culture has become an integral part of any nation's foreign policy, serving as a means to promote tourism and attract investments. Consider the various international cuisines available in our restaurants, the impact of Hollywood, Bollywood, and Nollywood, and the reach and influence of global culture through technology and media. We need to continuously come up with the novel ways to market our own culture while preserving and protecting its intellectual property. How can we create globally recognizable products that showcase our heritage? Maybe it's time for us to develop our own Hollywood by tapping into Talenda Hela, a government-driven initiative and others. Today's celebrations align perfectly with the bottom-up economic transformation agenda better, which also emphasizes the government's commitment to fostering the growth of the creative economy. The Constitution further recognizes culture as the foundation of our nation, as articulated in Article 11 of the Constitution of Kenya, which acknowledges culture as a cumulative civilization of the people of Kenya. Our Maasai culture, for instance, has become a global symbol of our nation across the world. Thank you. The Ma culture stands as a testament of what can be achieved in shaping a national identity and building a strong brand at a global stage. The government is dedicated to promoting all forms of national and cultural expression, including literature, the arts, traditional celebrations, science, communication, information, mass media, publications, libraries, buildings, and other forms of cultural heritage. In the context of tourism, culture plays a critical role in enhancing our tourism, offering as part of our efforts to broaden our product range, thus enriching the visitor's experience. Ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate this day, let it be a reminder of our commitment to loving and supporting Brand Kenya and our diverse cultures. Let us take the initiative to explore different counties, immerse ourselves in their unique cultures, and contribute to the growth of domestic tourism in our great and beautiful country. I implore our people, and especially the youth, to embrace our culture wholeheartedly. I urge all of us to explore opportunities that exist and are not fully tapped into, yet present huge growth potential. The Ministry of Gender, Culture, the Arts and Heritage is ready, is ready to support in this regard. Looking ahead, I envision full-scale celebrations taking place in counties across the country, where we celebrate our unique diversities and create events that draw domestic and international tourists. May the beauty of our diversity bring us together as Kenyans and instill in us a powerful sense of patriotism. Najivunia kuwa Kenya, tujivunie kuwa wa Kenya. With this few remarks. Thank you for your kind attention, and may the good Lord bless you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let us give a very, very big round of applause. Our chief guest, our first lady of the Republic of Kenya, Mama Rachel Ruto, Anna Jivinia Kenya, Sisi Water